Hey there everybody, it's me, Wolf, and I want to welcome you back to this week's Tip Tuesday. In this week's Tip Tuesday, we're going to be talking about long vowel sounds. So, let's just hop right into it. So there are two types of long vowel sounds when it comes to spelling. One format is if there is an E at the end of the word. So for example, like hate, there is a H-A-T-E, so that E doesn't make a sound and it gives all the power to the A. So instead of making an A sound, like in hat, it changes to hate. The other way that we have a long vowel sound is if two vowels are together, that second vowel gives all of its power to the first vowel. So for example, instead of saying beat, beat, E E T. We do not say bet. That second E gives all of its power to the first E, so the first E makes its own name sound. So b eat. Whenever you're making a long vowel sound, the sound that you're going to make is the name of the letter you're talking about. First, let's talk about making a long A sound. A long A sound sounds just like the letter's name, A. Some words include make, plane, take, hate. So the way that I like to practice long vowel sounds is taking that last E off and seeing what sound it makes. So let's do hate and hat. The short A would be hat. The long with an E at the end would be hate. Hat, hate. Hat, hate. Or let's do plan, plain. Plan, a, 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 a. plan, plain. L a, a, ain. So whenever you're making a long A sound, you're gonna make sure that you just say the name A. Next, let's talk about the long E sound. The long E sound makes the sound of the name E. Some of these words include beat, feet, beach. So whenever you're making this sound, instead of going E, eh, you go E, E, eh, E. Usually for the long E, you're going to have uh, double vowels. So like E, 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 A, like that. So make sure whenever you're doing that E, the long E sound, you're making the E sound. F, eat, F, et. B, et, B, eat. B, etch, B, each. Next, let's talk about the long I sound. The long I sound makes an I sound. Some of these words can include hi, lie, kite, ice. And all these words, there's an E at the end. Instead of that E making a sound, it's going to give all that power to the I. So instead of is, you say ice. Instead of kit, you say kite. So whenever there's that E at the end, you're going to change the I sound to an I sound. Next, let's talk about the long O sound. Long O just makes an O. Some examples of the long O sound are coat, toe, go, so, no. Next, let's talk about the long U sound. The long U sound sounds like U. Some examples are cube, rescue, huge. Whenever there's a U followed by an E or a E at the end of a word cluster like in cube, you're going to use that U sound. So instead of saying like cub, cube, cub, cube, cub, cube. So you change that U uh sound to a U sound. So that's it for this week's Tip Tuesday about long vowel sounds. Next week, we're going to be talking about the difference between a short OO and a long OO. So look forward to that video. I hope this was a really helpful lesson for you guys today. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to this channel and share this video with your friends. If you have any questions about using long vowel sounds, you can post them down below in the comments and I'll try to get back to as many of you as I can. In the description, there will be links to the Wolf's English blog and Instagram where you guys can get more resources for studying English and also updates about videos that will be coming out soon. I hope you guys have a fantastic week and I will see you guys next time. Bye!